Welcome to the Prep Athletics Podcast. This is Corey Heights. Some battles. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if they got us. If they did, maybe, maybe. So you will get better as a player during that year. So it was kind of exciting. Like, oh, yes, yeah, somebody wants me. Welcome to the Prep Athletics Podcast. And today's episode is a short one with just me, your host, Corey Heights. And what I'm going to do today is give four things I wish I would have done as a high school basketball player. Now, I am now 44 years old, and I've learned some things in uh, these many decades away from high school basketball. But if I was in a time machine and could go back and talk to my future self, this is what I would say. And for current high school players or younger, um, you know, take these if you want to. Um, I think they're pretty valuable and I think they can really help improve you as a person and as a player. Number one is I would meditate 10 minutes every day. Now, meditation, why is it important? When it calms the mind, calms your breathing down, and it is 10 minutes of your day where you are just you know, not thinking about anything actively. Thinking will happen, that happens in meditation, it's, it's very hard to zone out and have a blank mind. But this 10 minutes to give your mind a rest, especially in this world with so many distractions, is just key. Now, during this 10 minutes, you can just breathe and focus on your breath. There are multiple types of meditation you can do. Or you can actually visualize uh, a game coming up or your skill set or something you want to improve at. One person that uses visualization quite a bit is Tiger Woods, one of the best golfers of of all time. And he would use it on shots. Um, he would use it for different situations on the putting green, mid-range, or from the uh, from the tee box. Michael Jordan did this, and many other successful athletes do this as well. So visualization can be part of that meditation. Also, one of the greatest NBA coaches of all time, Phil Jackson, incorporated meditation with both his Bulls teams and his Lakers teams. So if Phil's doing it, uh, Kobe, Michael, all the greats, might be something you want to check out. So that was number one. I would meditate for 10 minutes a day. Number two, I would incorporate ice baths and sauna into my uh, health routine. Now, I know this is not as easy for high schoolers to have access to an ice bath or a cold mountain creek or you know, a sauna, so I understand that. But if you do, you know, it's gonna be very beneficial. Let's talk about ice bath. One, if you live nowhere near uh, an old, a cold creek or can't put a freezer in your house or uh, don't have access at your training facility, uh, you can always get bags of ice and put it in your bathtub. What are the benefits? Well, it can reduce inflammation. Um, it can boost your immunity. Uh, it can make you more resilient to stress. Um, it makes you feel, uh, you know, you get better sleep. And one thing I like when I get out of an ice bath or a, a, an icy Colorado Creek is I feel just tougher, right? And I know if I'm doing that and the 99.9% of the, of the rest of the world is not doing that, I have a slight advantage there. Now, I've done some deep, ice training with both Laird Hamilton and Gabby Reese uh, through the XPT program that you know I did a trip with them. So I got to do their ice protocol combined with sauna. And I also went to Poland in uh, February of 2020, right before the pandemic hit, to do ice and cold weather training with Wim Hof, who's known as the Iceman. If you don't know who that is, go to YouTube and look up the Vice special on him and you'll see how unique Wim Hof is. And um, after coming back and incorporating that in my life, it's just it's a, it's been a whirlwind of difference to me as a 44 year old man. Um, I really incorporated that ice training when I was training for my marathon, and um, I think it's just it's one of those things everyone I introduce it to just really likes it. And I think as a high schooler, if you're doing that, it's going to help in a lot of ways. Now, one disclaimer: if you lift weights or do a really hard workout. Um, and you're trying to get in shape, I wouldn't get in the ice right away because that will dull the inflammation. And that inflammation is actually what you need to grow your muscles stronger. All right, so do some research on that. The sauna, I've been doing that. I'm sweaty right now. I just got a sauna at our place about 10 minutes ago. Um, so I just took a cold shower, still a little sweaty, but that's why I wanted to record it at this time. But the sauna does other great things. Um, it can really improve your endurance and cardio capability and some runners it's increased their endurance 32 percent now if you do this as a basketball player it's going to help you play longer at a higher level because it can increase the amount of platelets and red blood cells in your blood which is what carries oxygen to all parts of your body um, it's also um, great for helping with muscle breakdown and once again inflammation 
All right. Uh, NBA players who use this, Montrez Harrell, Steven Adams, just to name a few. Who uses the ice? I know LeBron, Kobe, um, Grant Hill. Those guys use cryotherapy, which is still cold. It's a different modality kind of than the ice water, but uh, still gets a lot of the same effects. So number two, ice and or sauna. And number three, uh, be present and have fun with the process. When I was going through prize school, when I was going through high school, I felt such pressure to get a D1 scholarship because five other members of my family had gotten D1 scholarships that that's all I thought about. When at the time I was on a very talented team, Lexington Catholic High School in Lexington, Kentucky, we were number one most of my career there, had seven guys in our team who over the course of their four years scored a thousand points. We had kids in our team go to Georgia, uh, Eastern Kentucky, Notre Dame, uh, Marshall, Kentucky, big time team. And instead of enjoying the ride I was on, um, I really was focused on the future and not being present every day and enjoying the experiences of playing in national tournaments, traveling overseas, um, having huge home crowds and a lot of media following us. I did not always sit back and take a breath in and enjoy the moment I was in because I was constantly looking ahead. So for you kids in high school that are constantly worried about getting D1 or getting a college level um, offer, just sit back, relax a little bit. What's going to come is going to come based on your hard work and a little bit of luck. And just enjoy the moment you're in right now because you will look back on these days in the future and hopefully you'll think about them with good, happy thoughts. So those are the three things I would do um, if I was a high schooler again, if I could do a quantum leap back and a jump in my body, it would be meditate for 10 minutes a day, incorporate the ice and heat, and be present and have fun without stressing about the college process. This is Corey Heights with Prep Athletics Podcast. You can subscribe on YouTube, all platforms. If you leave a review that really helps or subscribe, that helps too. And uh, have a good one. We'll see you soon. Thanks.